entrance antiphon. The waves of death rose about me. The pains of the netherworld surrounded me. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and from his holy temple, he heard my voice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord, Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plots because the Lord informed me. At that time, at that time you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to the slaughter, had not realized that they, that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, o Lord my, my God, God, in you I take refuge. refuge. O Lord my God, I take in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord, Lord my, my God, God in I you take I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocent that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to, to an end. But sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord, Lord my, my God, God, in you I take, take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord, Lord my God, God in you I take refuge. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to you, O oh Lord. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, 
this is truly the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But others said, the Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division <coughs> occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, why did you not bring him? The guards answered, never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members, who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not a Galilean also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, O Lord, you showed me their doings. This is one quality that the Lord gives uh, to those who are close to him, is he gives them a heads up on things about to happen. And we see this, of course, uh, in the Gospels with Jesus, especially when uh, his disciples ask ask him about the end and he says a bunch of things are going to happen first there'll be plagues and famines and wars and insurrections all kinds of things uh, you will be persecuted all these things must take place first he promises his disciples that uh, they're not going to have um, the most amazing life by following him over and over again he says to them unless you follow me uh, unless you pick up your cross and deny yourself, in other words, unless you suffer, you cannot be my disciple. So he always gives his people a heads up of things about to happen. In this time of uncertainty, where we don't know how long this will last, we don't know the origins of it, we don't know what's going to happen next, there is certainty. There's certainty of Jesus who said these things would happen. There's certainty of Jesus' promises who said, I would never abandon you. I am always with you. There's certainty of the resurrection of Jesus Christ and his um, power over death and sickness. These are the certainties that we cling to. It's not how long will this last or uh, what will happen to our economy or any of these worldly uncertainties. The one certainty that we do have, that we do cling to, is Christ Jesus. I really miss the kiddos and, and having them at class. And one thing I say to them over and over again, I'll ask them, what's the answer to every question? And they know to answer Jesus. And sometimes they say, well, okay, I'll put that on my test. And that's not what I mean, but why? It's not one plus one equals Jesus. It's one plus one equals two. But why does it equal two? It's because of Jesus. Because Jesus is God. He is the creator. He is one with the Father. Uh, he is uh, one of three persons in our Holy Trinity. And so he is in complete control. He is in full knowledge of what's going on. Uh, all of this, every story is about Jesus. Everything is about him. There was uncertainty even in Jesus' time as they're arguing about whether he's the prophet, whether he's the Christ. But there's one answer that we already know, uh, having the privilege of, of the scriptures and looking back, that he, he is the prophet. He is, he is the promised one. He is the Messiah. He is the anointed one, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. 
Sometimes it doesn't seem that way, especially as he enters his passion and as they plot against him to arrest him as he suffers greatly. But it changes nothing. It changes nothing to the fact that he is the only begotten Son of God. He is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and he is in full control. Brothers and sisters, give your uncertainty to the Lord today in exchange for the certainty that he loves you, that he's with you, and that he is in full control of every situation at all times. Trusting in the Lord and his great love for us, we now lift up our prayers and petitions to his fatherly heart. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop Lucas, Bishop Hannafeld, Bishop Conley, and all bishops and priests throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit guide and strengthen them in these difficult times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For President Trump and all world leaders, that they continually work to ensure the well-being of the most vulnerable in their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all health care workers, nurses, doctors, and first responders caring for those inflicted with the coronavirus, that they stay safe and healthy as they tend to those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the community of faith here in Omaha, may we be a beacon of light as we seek ways to minister to the sick, the lonely, and especially to the frightened during these times of crisis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick, our poor, our homeless, our lonely, and all who feel abandoned by society, that they know the comfort and peace of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift and decisive deliverance from the coronavirus in every illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those needs that we hold in the quiet of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died, that their souls be purged from any impurities and welcomed into the light of God's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in the midst of our doubts and worries, you give us the certainty of your Son, Jesus Christ, and his gift of salvation. We ask you to hear these prayers to that same Savior, your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Today's Masses are being offered for Tim Grant and for Betty, Martha, and John Solis. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through to the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands, 
and, even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the
the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ. Amen. Our communion antiphon. By the precious blood of Christ, the blood of a spotless and unblemished lamb, we have been redeemed. For all those separated currently during this time from sacramental communion, we now pray the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Parce Domine, Parce Populo Tuo, Ne in Eternum, Irascaris Nobis. Parce Domine, Parce Populo Tuo, 
Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray. And by their working, render us fully pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Entrusting our current situation and protection to St. Joseph, we now pray the prayer to him. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O oh, most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O oh, our most mighty protector, be propitious to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. And, as once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's children from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection. Amen. Thank you for joining us this day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.